my name is Agatha Teresa Frangenangin, and I'm going to present entitled Linguistic, and I'm going to explain about principles and major concepts of linguistic. So, the first one is synchronic and diachronic. Synchronic aims at describing a language at a specific point of time. For example, the use of modern language this time. So, in synchronic, we are searching for a picture that describes modern language as it is a principle. We are wondering what happened to language. So we describe it. It is focused only in one period of time. And in diachronic, diachronic consider the development and evolution of a language through history. For example, the development phenomenon of language from time to time. So, in diachronic, we search for the evolution. So, in this uh, principle, the keyword is evolution. In this case, we will go through history and see the development that happened. Okay. The second one is form and substance. It is a theoretical construct that the actual sound produced in certain distinctive manner that differentiates each from the other comprise the substance. So, form is the knowledge, substance is the action. In this principle, the key word is knowledge and action. For example, dream. It can be a noun and it can be a verb. But I mean, a word can have a different meaning at a different situation. So, dream in a situation can be just a dream that we have while we were sleeping. In another situation, a dream can be something that we always wish for. Another example, um, we know the vocab of French, which is knowledge, but having a conversation in French, which is action, it is another situation. <laughs> and the third one, the third one is Competence and performance, also language and parole. Competence is a person's intuitive knowledge of the rules and structure of language. Performance is the ability to actualize the language. So in this principle, the principle have the same concept as form and substance, also in language and parole. They have the same concept here. So just like uh, just as the one that I have described before, competence and language is the knowledge. It is passive. Performs and peril is the action. It is active. And the third one, syntomatic and paradigmatic. Syntomatic is the relationship of one sound to another sound forms a meaningful word. And paradigmatic is a word relation in meaning that relate to another word. So, in this principle, it is about a word relationship. Syntomatic is the relation of sound per unit that create a word that has a meaning. For example, R, E with D. It became read. And it became a word. It be, uh, and the word have a meaning. Read. Uh, that is the example of syntomatic and paradigmatic. Paradigmatic is the relationship between work. For example, learning. A word learning can relate to knowledge, study, schools, and other. So they relate to each other. So in this principle, syntomatic is the relation of sound per unit, and paradigmatic is the relation between work. Okay, this is my presentation. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.